unit that's used a lot in patchworking and quilting is the flying geese unit. Typically that's made with two different sized triangles. Again, sometimes you're working on the bias. And so what we want to do now is show you how to make flying geese units using squares only. First of all, you'll need one square that's the background and then you'll need four smaller squares that are the little triangles on each side. Diagonal line on all four squares. We'll take two of them away right now. Then you bring back your square that you have, your larger square, and we're gonna place the smaller squares in one corner with that diagonal line then we're going to take the second marked square and we're going to place it matching in the other corner. Now you'll see you've got some overlap here and that's okay. You should have overlap but these lines should be right in a row. Now we're going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side of the diagonal line. And one thing to remember is if you're a little uncomfortable, you can always change the speed that you're sewing. So don't forget that you can slow things down or just take your foot off the foot pedal. So we've sewn down one side. We're just going to turn it around right back the other way on the other side of the line. Now you have sewn a quarter of an inch on each side of the line. Once you've done that with your rotary cutter and acrylic ruler, go ahead and cut on that diagonal line and you'll have these two pieces. Then we're going to go to the pressing and we're going to open up this and this and we'll press and we'll be right back to sew the next unit. Okay, now you've pressed these back. We're gonna take our third square that we have marked with the diagonal line and we're gonna place it in that corner. Again, with the diagonal line going this direction. Take it to your sewing machine and you're sewing a quarter of an inch on each side of that diagonal line. So we've cut apart on the drawn line then you're going to take these to your ironing board and you're going to press back the triangles on each side to give you two flying geese units that will look like this. Then we're going to use our remaining pieces that we have to make two more flying geese units so you'll have a total of four from this technique. 